Greetings and various assorted salutations. Uh, what this is is a briefing on for ancient civilizations. If you've been watching my channel, you've probably seen that I've done this for U.S. History 2 um, almost daily since our unexpected closure event. And the reason for this is is due to the sheer number of uh, U.S. History 2 students. Um, there's a lot more going on. It's a lot more complex. Uh, whereas Ancient Civ, being a much smaller class, just doesn't have um, the same requirements. Uh, there are a few updates I want to post on. Um, firstly, uh, with the class, if you look down on the screen here, uh, I encountered an issue with the assignment, um, what was it called? Uh, Special Topics Ancient Greece. Um, one of the problems I encountered is I did not create like a turn in section to it. Like there's not a template like you're used to. What you will have to do is upload a document. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. But we'll talk. Well, let me switch over to an account where I have that. So this example is in U.S. History 2, but Normally, you would have this document here that you would be able to edit, input, and whatnot. But unfortunately, due to some mistakes on my end, you don't have that for the Greek assignment. Instead, what you will have to do is create a document to turn in. So you'll click at Create a Document since there isn't anything here. Uh, it's a minor issue, minor difficulty, but um, if you've already turned in your assignment, do not worry. I'm able to view it, and I will be grading it um, uh, in the coming days. But anyways, uh, going back to this class, to kind of tell you about what we're looking at uh, coming down the pike, uh, what we're going to be looking at uh, next on uh, the stream of things to do, the color of the day is snow. Um, I mentioned that in my US2 videos a lot. And then the other thing is we've got some new assignments coming up. They will be released next week on, uh, what day of the week will that be? Uh, Monday. So you don't, if you finished everything up to this point, you're perfectly fine. But the new assignments that we'll be looking at is Greek gods and mythology, where essentially you just get to pick two myths and the instructions will detail it. But you'll go, you'll read into what's going on in these myths and write a little bit about it. I've provided a book of myths uh, PDF that you can access for it. And then there's a video that you'll watch next week on battle tactics of the ancient Greeks. It's one of the earliest videos I made for ancient Civ, uh, so it's a bit dated. It's pre-exists pre everything else. Let's see here. The other assignment that will be posted soon uh, on Monday will be the Greek city-states presentation. You'll just be putting together a slideshow, all that's provided on a city-state of your choice, and here's the list. Um, but it's kind of a fun activity where you get to learn about a specific place in more detail. Um, as for what's going on with the next video, I did promise I would build some pyramids. And right now, I have a pyramid that's built to look like the Pyramid of Dozier. Uh, Dozier? Dozer? I'd have to double check that. Um, but what I'm going to also build is a Pyramid of Giza. Um, I'm going to do it a bit differently, though. Uh, you've probably heard me complain more in person about how some of the videos I make, um, the building these pyramids are tedious. So, like, the ziggurat was horrendously tedious, but to scale... I cut corners on this one, and this pyramid is half scale of what it actually is. But what I'm going to do in, in the next video is try and code myself a pyramid like the Pyramid of Giza. I do have a reference book on it. It's a children's book, but a pretty good one nonetheless. But it's David, uh, David McKayley. McKayley. Um, I don't know how to pronounce that, uh, and his children's book of building a pyramid. I'll look up the dimensions and see if we can code ourselves a pyramid through the Minecraft cheat codes using those instructions. But I need to find a build site for it, 
And so I'll probably end this video here. Um, and I guess once a cobbler, always a cobbler. And until later.